How's it going guys? Happy October 18th and welcome to my 31 Days of Halloween Marathon. Today I will be reviewing a movie that premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel back in 2007. It's called Headless Horseman and um, yes, as you can tell it is about the Headless Horseman from the Sleepy Hollow Tale except uh, this one's a lot worse and more low budget. Now you all know the story of the Headless Horseman and the Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Um, basically, this dude um, goes around on this horse, and he's headless, and he chops off people's heads, and he keeps them. I mean, you know, you know the story, but this one takes place in modern day time, where um, like these uh, these group of people who go to this town where the headless horseman appears, and he kills people. The headless horseman does look a little cheesy in here. I mean, what do you expect from a sci-fi film? It's very low budget and very bad. If I suggested you to watch either the Sleepy Hollow, Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow, or this Headless Horseman, I would 100% definitely go to Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow. It is a much better film, much better acted, much better told, much better everything. This movie, it, it's definitely very cheesy. Like, the acting is horrible. Everything about it is pretty bad. I mean, like, the acting, though, I can't express enough how bad it is. Like, it's, it's really bad. But I guess I could say that the movie is kind of fun for what it is. If you're expecting some big time grade A awesome movie, this is definitely not the movie to be watching. Um, it's definitely very B movie-ish, low budget, and it's not very good. But I mean, the kills in here, I actually really did like the kills. The blood and gore was like really over the top. That's what I really liked about it. And the killings in here were just pretty laughable, but they were pretty fun. I really enjoyed watching people die in this film. I guess that's pretty much all I could say about Headless Horseman, but, um, oh, hey, everybody, look, it's Frank. How you doing, Frank? Yeah, somebody mentioned in the comments, like, in one of my other videos that his head was tilting like this. I don't know why, but his head just will not stay. It's always crooked. See, like that. Why, why is your head always crooked? Frank, why do you always pop up when I review bad movies? Huh? Don't give me that look. But yeah, guys, um, that was Frank. Say bye, Frank. You're very useless. I don't know why you're... Get, get out of here. Alright. Headless Horseman. Yeah, it was alright. I really would not recommend it, though. If, especially if you're into, like, you know, much better movies. I'm gonna give this film two and a half pumpkins out of five. I mean, I gotta say, it was kind of fun for what it is. Definitely some very slow parts, like every sci-fi chiller film is. But, um... I mean, it was fun. Like, I, again, I liked the killings. They were a lot of fun. And, um... The movie, it's very bad, but in a good way almost. I don't know. I kind of enjoyed it. You might, you might not. I, I would still suggest you guys watch Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow. It is a much better movie by, like, by a long shot. Alright, guys. I'm Jacob Palacio. Thank you for watching this review. Don't forget to check out my other reviews, and I will see you guys later.